Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, November 30th, 2021 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. We got a new version of Wireshark, Wireshark 3.6.0, so a somewhat major version and it comes with a small but uh, if you have used Wireshark extensively, sort of annoying uh, bug fix. And that's the use of the not equal operator, which well didn't work with IP addresses in the past. Now Wireshark was helpful enough to indicate that with a tooltip and with a yellow background color for the filter window but well this is finally fixed now so you are able to use the not equal operator with IP addresses as you probably always wanted to use it. Of course the old method of using not and then in parentheses ip.source equals and the IP address that version will still work as it did before and that sort of used to be the workaround for this not equal bug. Well, and uh, who knows, maybe next we'll get an update to TCP dump that will use a uh, capital A instead of the dot for the ACK flag. But well, I wouldn't get my hopes up on that change. And Google's cybersecurity action team or CAT did release a report summarizing the last year worth of compromises within Google's cloud offerings. So here we are talking about customers getting compromised and well, the number one issue here is passwords being either too weak or being stolen in phishing attacks, two-factor authentication as Google yet again points out offers adequate security for these threats and well once you're compromised chances are extremely high that your cloud resources are being used to mine crypto coins. Mining crypto coins inside a cloud resource is of course typically not effective, but if you're not paying for uh, the resource, then of course it works quite well. So nothing really new or different from other cloud providers. And yet again, you don't have a perimeter to protect you. Yes, inside your perimeter, it's not a great idea, but you were often able to get away with weak passwords and such. You can't get away with that in the cloud. And, and that's why not only two-factor authentication, but also the proper use of whatever identity management offerings the cloud provider has uh, is a real critical, real must here for any users of cloud resources. Also, you don't have a lot of time once your system is exposed in the cloud, between 30 minutes and a few hours, 40% of the analyzed systems were compromised within eight hours of being moved online. The report also offers a number of resources on how to better secure your systems, uh, while it's of course specific to some of Google's offerings, it's similar enough uh, to other providers if you are really leveraging the cloud, whether it's Amazon, whether it's Microsoft, whether it's Google, probably take a quick look at uh, the report and see if you can learn something. Now we got an update for Zoom. The latest version of uh, Zoom is uh, 5.8. Six and this version not only fixes uh, two vulnerabilities, one of which is rated as high, but it also adds a new option. If you're going to settings in general, there is now an automatically keep my Zoom up to date option. So you no longer have to think about it. It will just update itself. There are two options, slow and fast. The way this reads to me, the fast option says, try the newest features and updates, which probably will be more sort of feature focused. Maybe you'll get sort of something like a beta release. So I would recommend uh, leave it at slow. That uh, should take care of the security issues and not cause any problems due to some new cutting edge features. 
And are you planning on rolling out DNSSEC or are you having issues debugging DNSSEC? You may want to read a blog post by the Slack engineering team. Slack recently tried to roll out uh, DNSSEC for its slack.com domain and uh, well, ran into a number of issues there. Uh, too much here really to summarize in the podcast, but if you're interested in some of the inner workings of DNSSEC and how DNSSEC can fail in new and interesting ways, well, uh, take a look at uh, the blog post by the Slack engineering team. And this is it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.